I manage a lawn and garden feed store, grain elevator, and have for 38 years here. At McQueenie Mill and Grain, we sell lots of products, uh, lots of lawn and garden. Pet foods are a huge part of our business. You know, deer pellets, range cubes, cattle feed, all exotic feeds, chicken feeds, whatever the local people need is what I try to stock. The pigeon problems at McQueenie Mill here are, are daily. They're in and out of the warehouse. I've got a 90 by 150 foot warehouse back there and believe me not, with the big open overhead doors we have, we can have 15 or 20 pigeons in here sometimes. Actually, they will tear into a bag. They do mess things up. Along with eating the grain and spilling it, there you know, the droppings behind them as they go too. And then you, gotta, you have to wipe that off before you load a bag. You gotta tape the bags. And it's, it's just a problem that we have here. So they're in and out here all day long. They're after the spill grain all the time like that. And uh, it, it is a problem that I'd like to do something about if possible. With the problem we have, I know Mr. Keith Warren, who is a hunting show, and I know he hunts and fishes. And I thought, you know, it possibly during the off season, I could get him here to display some of his you know, products that he used. I know he uses the Gamo air gun, which is a powerful pellet rifle that would probably do the job. The reason why birds love hanging around feed stores like this, these are great big grain bins and the pigeons will work these because there's always grain outside of them. The trucks will pull up underneath here. This auger will pump down into the trucks. It'll drop down and what happens here, this is just basically spillage. So good to eat. Cook them up just like a dove. Baby, smoked him. What do you think about that? We got a good crowd of them this morning. I mean, there's a good crowd of them. Those of you out there that are sitting here and saying, well, you shoot them off the high lines. You're not supposed to be shooting them off the high lines. This SOCOM Extreme is incredibly accurate. That is a 15 yard shot and dropped him like a stone, I would not recommend shooting off of high lines unless you are exactly, positively sure of where you're gonna hit and you have permission from the landowner that it's okay to do so. That was awesome. No need to be real quiet right now. The good thing is the birds are used to this. All day long. We've got some actually landing up there now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a whole bunch of them up there. They're up here on the top. Got him. Got him. Oh, 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 oh smoke them. Yeah, when you wind up shooting one, the rest of them fly, so we've got to get reloaded back in position. Got him. What do you think of that? Ha ha! 